I think running for me it helps me clear my mind. It releases any kind of energies that might be negative. Jackie Kenyon needs to run. It does become addictive. When she says that, she's not just speaking metaphorically. I think it's uh, definitely better than the addictions I used What's to have. That? Kenyon has been recovering from drug and alcohol addictions. This is me all cracked up. Some of which began when she was 12 years old. I started early with my addictions with drinking and smoking weed and doing acid. Uh, then I graduated to cocaine and then eventually went on to heroin IV use. She has spent a total of nine years in prison. The lowest point for me was living out here on the streets, not caring about myself, not bathing properly. While incarcerated, Kenyon began to turn her life around. Today, she's a permanent resident of St. Francis House, a Boston homeless shelter. Now sober, she helps others overcome their addictions. Helping her keep away from drugs is running. This year, she's training for her second Boston Marathon and she's just as surprised as everyone else. My self-worth was never anywhere where I thought I would be running a Boston Marathon, not at all. In fact, I hated cardio, I hated it. Anybody that was involved in that, I said, they're crazy. I mean, why would you do that to yourself? Kenyon's daily training runs take her past locations that trigger memories. On the way that we run, there was a place that I used to sleep outside with like a community of us were homeless up in the Boston Commons. You know, I remember how bad I was out here, so I don't ever forget, nor do I judge people that are still out here. You know, it's, uh, addiction is powerful. And then there's more recent memories, like those triggered by the sitgo sign. The first time it kind of impacted me was going through the Boston Marathon last year. And everybody said, you know, generally when you see that, you know the marathon's almost over. So for me, every, every time that I go over that bridge and I see that sign, you know, I often, I thank God. I usually pray going over that bridge, and I thank God that I'm not where I used to be. I remain grateful for the way that I am today. No other high I've ever had compares to that feeling.